Okay, so today is a tutorial on Cinema 4D. You can use R11, but I'm using R12, and it's pretty much just the any effector. I'm using Formula Effector and an Object Cloner. So I'm going to use the cube, because that's what I've been using. And pretty much you just want to make the size down a little, so it's easier on your computer when it clones a bunch of them. And then I do fillet or fillet and maybe scale it down a little bit just because it makes it look a lot nicer. And then the effector I use is I'll show you guys the random effector. Oh, oh wait, um, first you have to clone it. And what you want to do is just when you clone it, you want to click on your object, hold alt, and then click on the cloner. But that didn't work for me so I'll just you want to drop cube under cloner then you click on cloner you go to object mode instead of linear go to object then this is where you grab the object that's going to clone everything over and scale that down also so it's less laggy <coughs> then you want to click on your cloner then you see your object then you want to drag your sphere that you want everything to copy onto onto it then it tries to mesh all of those cubes onto on the surface or the I have it set on vertex of the of the sphere and then you can mess with that you can change it to the surface or anything like that but I like to stick with the vertex because vertex or surf surface doesn't really look that nice vertex is I think the nicest looking then for effectors I like the formula just because it makes a nicer nicer spread out and just looks really nice so let me change this back to vertex it's more aligned more perfected looks a lot nicer shadows look nicer when they're all like that then yeah you just mess with the position of everything and just toy with it toy with the settings inside the formula and to get those shadows that I do, I'm using HDRI, I like Kid Pro, I'm using a studio called No Floor Studio, and it just look, makes everything look nice. So, yeah, then here's how to animate it, and what you want to do is you want to go to zero, and you want to click on all the positions, and then hold control, and then click it again, and they'll go red, then you go to, then you can keyframe it however, and I'm just going to show you one big long keyframe so I'm gonna go to 300 then you set up everything do you want to then all your circles will go yellow then you want to hold control and click those again and it'll keyframe it and then when you go back and play it it'll just show you how we got all the way to 300 and it'll make some crazy stuff so yeah if you just want to make some pretty abstract stuff like that how to make just experiment and this is my tutorial on the random or the formula effector and the object cloner and i'm out